Okay, so you have some uh, photographs or like some other uh, drawings. So how do you uh, insert them into it for documents or something like that? So the option is just to drag and drop. Okay, I'll take this image. It is a .jpg image and I'll drop it here. So it asks for two options, either embed or link. So I would suggest that you go with embed option. So do you know who this is? How many of you know who this is? Che. Okay. So this is Che. And this is something that I found in uh, while roaming in Bombay. This graffiti was there. Che, alive as they never want you to be. Okay, so we have two, two of these basic images. Uh, let's say I want to compose a poster out of this. Okay, so there are two ways of doing it. So I'll introduce GIMP in this way. This is a .jpg file. I'll right click on it and I'll say open with GIMP. New image manipulation program. Okay. So Jim will open this uh, photo for me. Okay, so this photo has a border. I don't want this border right now. So I need to crop the photo. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll uh, select a particular area. Okay, so I'll uh, choose the choose a tool called rectangle selection tool. And I'll select this object till here, let's say. I'll go to what is called as image. Here it says crop to selection. So whatever I've selected, it will crop to that. So the other part of the image which was not selected has gone. Let's say I want to uh, brighten it a bit and maybe increase the contrast. So I'll get the brightness contrast tool and I'll copy it. So I'll say control A, control C, control A for selecting the entire image and control C for copying. Now I go back to Inkscape and I'll say control V. Whatever was copied into GIMP has been pasted into Inkscape now. So you can use this these two packages as complementary packages, one for raster editing and one for vector editing. Now, this is a vector image. So if I zoom into it, it will show pixelation. You can see the pixels here. I don't want this in my poster. Okay, so what do I do? So I'll go to path and there is some option called trace bitmap. The shortcut is Alt Shift Alt B and I'll select the default option of brightness cutoff and I'll say just okay. Okay, so what I what it has created is has created a picture of J which is like this. Now same thing I'll do with this one. So okay, so I've selected only this area. I'll copy it and paste it here. Okay, so that other part is gone now and I only have this part and I'll again run the same tool here and I'll get another object. Okay, so this is clear to everyone how I got this. Now this is a vector image. If I zoom in, it, it's not going to go out of uh, pixelation. Okay, and I can also scale it as, as I want it. So let's say I keep it like this and I align it and I select both of them. So let's say I want this and this to be centrally aligned. So I'll introduce another tool called the align tool. So you can align, so there are a lot of options. You can explore them on your, your own. So this particular part will align them horizontally. Now my page is this and this is this is landscape mode and the page is in uh, portrait mode. So I go to the page and I select landscape mode instead of portrait mode. Okay. And then I align this to this end perhaps. Okay. So and I reduce the size. Okay. Okay. And I again go to a rectangle tool. I'll draw a rectangle here. And I'll send it to the back. Let's say this I want in white color. Okay. Now, I mean, in this, this is good in itself. But let's say I want only this part of the chase face as white. What do I do? Very simple. So you select the pen tool here. And I'll just draw a rough boundary around this face. And I'll fill it. Okay, so right now this is in a very bad shape. So I'll just put it down. Okay, so this is your poster. And this is in a SVG format. So you can blow it up like 100 times over and it will still not pixel it. A person who is actually not a person, a moment. Okay, beautiful poster made in five minutes. And also using two different tools. And the source of the outlines was taken from a photograph. And then you have use the computer to get the outlines and then transfer it to a graphic. 
beautiful work don't you want to clap for this oh.